one way street, up a hill, nowhere to lay down deliveries on this one. Nowhere for waste to be sorted. One street, nowhere else in the world does that happen. Put the service down the hallway, so if your hallway's on 20. The joys of Bossolet. For 8,000 euros, you can have a square meter. Hello, property enthusiasts, DIYers, renovators, contractors, and everything in between. Through this channel, with the permission of our wonderful clients, we will share content on the properties we are renovating, showing you around the projects, sharing building knowledge, tools and equipment reviews and recommendations, real unscripted, no holds barred access to the world of renovating villas and apartments on the Côte d'Azur. I really look forward to sharing this journey with you all and if you want to help me get this show on the road, please subscribe below. Welcome back to the channel everyone and today I'm going to be showing you around the wonderful village of Beausoleil. Now we stood at the top of Beausoleil at the minute, just below us is the village and then just in front of that is the country of Monaco. The village actually borders with Monaco so one side of the street is Beausoleil and the other side of the street is Monaco. Later on I'll be explaining the difference in price from living on one side to the other and I'll show you around a few of our renovation projects that we've just started for a very notable client. Now follow me. into the village I don't know if you noticed the roads are very very skinny lots and lots of tall buildings lots and lots of traffic it gets even worse between rush hour and it's um, it's not an easy place to do business we have deliveries which are a nightmare waste collection which is a nightmare even the logistics of getting people's tools on the jobs is a bit of a nightmare but it's a beautiful place. I'll show you in. Come see what we get up to. Follow me. What's that step? Wait, I've done. Wait, uh... Bonjour. Hello. There's a delivery out there, yeah? I'm in my van. If we don't, you. Why? Can you take all that out? Uh, yes, uh, only this cable. In four, but this is. Yes. Yeah. Here. What about this? That doesn't need power, does it? No. I don't think we use it. No, 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 that is all. No. Yeah. no. Yeah, if we don't need, we don't need. But what about them? You know the heating elements? Uh, yes, they don't work. They don't work? Don't work. This is old. Okay. Here is not bad, but outside is very bad. Yeah, so we need new cable. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. And, and you take that new cable to this machine, to this uh, board? Maybe, maybe sometimes it's directly from here. Oh, inside. From there. We don't know. But we can put longer, you know. I will uh, 
this to stay here to je recimo da da čuvaj da ne, 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 ostavim da napravim kuću jednu gdje ćemo staviti dva tri osigurača i onda će tu stajati i ste kuću ćemo napraviti nije to pa dobro okay. da I'll send you the spec for this machine I've bought yeah so this apartment is one of three that we are refurbing in Beausoleil the main issue in this one was the air conditioning and VMC system which creates airflow within the apartment has not been working so this wall which is connected directly to the exterior with zero insulation was absolutely caked in black mold now i'm sure a lot of you know the risks and dangers of black mold they go on and on and on but you shouldn't be living anywhere near it so we were brought in to fix the mold treat everything make sure it doesn't come back and we're going to bang a bit of insulated plasterboard on this wall on top of that we are putting a brand new AC machine. We're putting a, a box inside the bathroom, which we'll show you in a minute. And we're putting a brand new Daikin AC machine outside. Only the best. What else are we doing in this property? Obviously, it's all gonna need a nice new lick of fresh white paint, which will be a nice washable one, of course. Um, anything else we're doing in this one? I think that's it. We're treating the mould, giving it a nice lick of paint, nice freshen up, so that we can hand it back to the tenants and they can breathe a nice, fresh bit of clean air in. So what did we do to remove and treat the mould? First of all, we removed all the excess mould using a scouring pad and a concentrated Javel mixture, basically bleach just to kill all of the, uh, the bacteria and the mold itself. Waited for that to dry, and then we treat the walls twice with an anti-mold treatment. And then after that, we add a layer of primer for the paint, which also contains a humi stop element or a water stop element. So that's like four treatments, full belt and braces method to ensure that this mold is gone and will never come back. Okay, I'm not going to bore you with the details because I know you all want to see more of Beausoleil. But, as you can see, this is a bit of a nightmare to work in. So on the outside we've got the delivery problems, we've got waste management issues. On the inside, it's so cramped and compact in here. And that is very relative of all the projects in Beausoleil and Monaco. Very difficult working conditions. Not just for the guys who are working on site, but for us managers as well, trying to get the job done. Uh, because we can't get uh, the what you call the show system, which is the system that comes with valves. So if there's four bedrooms, it goes with four valves. If there's five, it goes with five valves. The system's too old to be able to connect it up to. Yeah. You can't, you can't do that. And uh, the single valves, the single valves basically don't work properly because they only work if it's all on or all off. Now, if that's the case, there's no point having them because it's all on all off now anyway. Yeah, yeah. So uh, it can't fluctuate the airflow. So what happens if the machine always pumps out the same and there's no regulator on there, but if there's only one machine, it's on low. If there's four machines, it's on high. You know what I'm saying? If it's two machines, it's middle. And that's what the Shogun thing does, but it'll only do it on machines that are compatible, which is like less than three years old, really. Perfect that in the hallway. So if your hallway's on 20, you know, the bedrooms will be about that. And if it's too late, just turn it down a little bit in the hallway. Yeah, you know? okay. Well, that's the cheapest option, bro. Alright. Yeah, alright. So, cheers, Ryan. Bye. See you, mate. Bye. Bye. The next job's there. So, we're just driving up the road for the next job. Just past it. One way street, up a hill. Nowhere to lay down deliveries on this one. Nowhere for waste to be sorted. So, what we're going to do is try and park in this little lay by and have to manhandle it up and down a hill. The joys of Beausoleil. I would say Beausoleil. It's harder to work in than London, and that's saying something. 
We're now in one of the tightest car parks in the world. Give me a ticket then. What? Parking complete. Well, why don't they put the thing down then if parking's complete? Can't see the window. Can't see, can't see, can't see. The joys of Bossolet. Now I'll drive around Monaco for another 25 minutes trying to find a parking space. Right, this is one of those streets. That side, Bossolet. That side, Monaco. That side, Jeep. That side, Treasure. Try car park numero deux. So there's some nice cars in here. This car park, you actually, uh, if you walk out of it one way, you end up in Monaco. If you walk out of it the other way, you end up in Beausoleil. It's uh, the parking underneath Saint Charles, which is a church in Monaco. And it has a squeaky flower. <laughs> Beausoleil side of the street. You can tell it's Beausoleil side because the pavement has all the sun shines on it. That side over there with a the red pavement is Monaco. So what does your money get you on the Beausoleil side? For 8,000 euros, you can have a square meter. That's your average price. That goes up to 22,500 euros for your top end property in Beausoleil. Now, if I cross the street, just there, no border, only a road, what we're talking there. Average house price, 55,000 euros per square meter, goes up to 122,000 euros per square meter. That's 8,000, 55,000. Just there, one street. Nowhere else in the world does that happen. Yeah, plastic cladding. Oh, this is only this from the wall, not from the wall. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah. And be careful, but be careful with this Blue. because that is internet. Yeah. And in here, we're changing all the switches and sockets for new. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Keeping the same location, okay. but changing all the switches and sockets. Okay. So this one is full renovation. Look at that! Somebody's drill! Yes. <laughs> Somebody's drill bit! Somebody from outside or underneath, <laughs> flat underneath, has drilled a hole and their drill has ended up here and it's got stuck and they've left it! You see why he put a new light? New light? Uh, yes, and he didn't really put <laughs> But take a picture, it's good. Yeah, when you take these down, just do it like so that they're not, you know, sh smashed. Take, no, 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 disassemble. Not take, oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, no problem. Not, yeah. Not because really. it's easier then to load them on the van, you know. Okay. Because the trouble with this place is we're going to have to if we go out here. Can we take something from here? This is not working. This is not fun. <laughs> Maybe if you talk to them, they can see it. They might let you through that bit. But I don't, I doubt it. There is probably a problem over there. Thank you for joining us today in the very busy Beausoleil. I hope you've enjoyed the little tour, a little look at our renovation projects we've got ongoing. I hope you're excited to see the progress. I'll bring you back here very soon. Now, anything you've got to say, don't forget to comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.